Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I want to show you LibRetro Finder by Jasper Sebring. It's a very useful app that helps you keep your retro console emulator BIOS files organized. In order to use it, the first thing you need to do is install Python. And you can do that by going to python.org and then click on the downloads button and then click on the big yellow download Python button. Once it's downloaded, you need to open it up to begin the installation. Click on add python.exe to path and then go to install now. And then once that's done, click on close. Now the next step is to install LibRetro Finder. All you need to do is open up a terminal window of your choice. So something like Command Prompt, Terminal or PowerShell should do fine. In this video, I'll use Command Prompt. Once you've opened Command Prompt, type in PIP space install space LibRetro hyphen Finder and press return. And now you can close this window. So if you have a folder full of tons of BIOS files, there's a good chance that some of them may not be compatible with RetroArch, and some might be. LibRetro scans through all these BIOS files and can output all the useful BIOS files for you into a separate folder. So in this example, I've made a folder called BIOS in, which contains all the multitude of random BIOS files, and I've created a separate BIOS out folder in which where LibRetro Finder will output all of the useful BIOS files for RetroArch. So in order to use it, go to the folder where all your random BIOS files are kept, right click, go to show more options, and then open in terminal. So what you need to do is type in libretro underscore finder, and then space, and then the file path of the directory that contains your BIOS files. So in this video, it's C drive BIOS slash BIOS underscore in and then comma. And then you want to type in the location of where you'd like your verified BIOS files to be output to. So in this video, it's C drive BIOS backslash BIOS underscore out. Triple check that you've spelt everything correctly. Otherwise, this process just won't work. And then if you're happy with it, press enter to continue. All done. So out of 47 files, it seems that 28 have been approved. So now if we go back to the folder and go back up a level and go to BIOS out, you'll notice that all of the verified BIOS files have been copied over and it looks a lot neater too. Fortunately, this process isn't destructive, so you won't lose any of your original BIOS files. They should still be there in that folder, so you can keep them too, just in case. And then once you're happy with these BIOS files, all you need to do is copy them to the system folder wherever you have RetroArch installed. If you'd like to know a little bit more about how to install BIOS files in RetroArch, I have a short video on the topic linked in the description below. If you have any suggestions or feature requests for LibRetroFinder, please drop them in the comments section and they'll be fed back to Jasper Sebring, the author of LibRetroFinder.